Alright, so cool. You are maybe like me and you're working with two inch risers on your layout. Um, me personally, I've gone from, we'll call this, you know, zero uh, to one inch and then two inch. And the reason I chose two, two inch was to play it safe because I'm a beginner um, to make sure any uh, locos and cars and every everything are gonna have clearance if uh, on my continuous loops because I do uh, small layouts. Uh, in my case, I am four by six ish, and the, yeah, it's kind of L shaped and stuff. But so today, I want to talk about getting some of these piers by Kato because I did commit to Kato Unitrack, and I totally back it up. I think it's great. Um, it's also cool because you can experiment and take things apart and you don't have to use a program to to make your layout but let's talk about this so today I was at the my local hobby shop and in general two inch risers with Kato Unitrack um, and then I needed some bridges in, in different places. In my case, I wanted to do some uh, viaduct. Um, these are 7 and 5 sixteenths straight viaduct, but of course they come in different lengths. But what I want to share with you is I was coming across, um, you know, I had my two inch risers and I thought, all right, We'll get some of these with some viaduct in a place that I needed to put it. And these also say 2 inch. But notice that it's 2 inch, excuse me, 2 inches plus some of that base on the bottom. Now as a beginner, I don't know, I hadn't seen anything about it. So I have my whole layout set up and almost ready to commit. And then today I came across this. So. There's a big gap there between um, basically my two inch risers and then when at the space where I want to use this viaduct. So today uh, I customized some of these piers. First of all, they're pretty, they're pretty, pretty convenient. You can um, insert them and everything really easily, and then they also come with the adapters of which I don't have in front of me right now but you can change out this little piece right here and then you can actually put this anywhere on the viaduct so they're 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 great but they don't match up to uh, my layout and having a small layout it you know makes it tough I don't have a lot of room so I gotta deal with it right away so what I did is I'll insert some pictures now but I basically cut off the bottoms so you can see on this viaduct with the pier I cut off uh, sorry I can't give you an exact measurement but I cut off enough where on my layout when I go to use these and it, it, it'll be easy to, to cover up the base and of course when you're doing your um, you know, all the stuff you're gonna do, grass, etc. But uh, I gotta cut down more towards my two inch risers. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Um, these two inch Unitrack piers um, with the viaduct is gonna make your track definitely a, more than two inches so a little bit of uh, beginner experience something I haven't seen on the internet so if you know the right way of going about you know dealing with this uh, or what maybe I should be doing you know I'm a beginner too please leave it in the comments help us out or cut that stuff off all right see ya